Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Solve for the value of x given this equation. We have x over 2 raised to logarithm of x to the base of 2 equals 8 times x, wherein x is a real number. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now let's answer this question together. Now our goal in this question is to solve for the value of x. Again, where x is a real number. So we have x over 2 raised to logarithm of x to the base of 2 equals 8x. To answer this question, we will use loss of exponent and properties of logarithm. So let's start with this law of exponent. If we have a over b raised to n, it is equivalent to a raised to n all over b raised to n. Therefore, the left-hand side of our equation is equivalent to x raised to logarithm of x to the base of 2 all over 2 raised to logarithm of x to the base of 2. Now at this point, let's focus on the denominator 2 raised to logarithm of x to the base of 2. Now we will use some properties of logarithm. If we have b raised to logarithm of n to the base of b, it is equivalent to just n. Therefore, this 2 raised to logarithm of x to the base of 2 is just x. Now, let's multiply both sides by x. This will give us x raised to logarithm of x to the base of 2 equals 8x squared. Now, at this point, let's take the logarithm on both sides. And we will choose base of 2. Now, the question is, why do we choose base of 2? Because notice, on the exponent of x, we have logarithm of x to the base of 2. So to make it consistent, we will choose base of 2. Now at this point, let's recall another property of logarithm. If we have logarithm of a raised to n to the base of b, it is equivalent to n times the logarithm of a to the base of b. Therefore, the left-hand side of our equation is just logarithm of x to the base of 2 times logarithm of x to the base of of 2. And this is just equivalent to logarithm of x to the base of 2 quantity squared. Now on the right hand side of our equation, let's use this property. If we have logarithm of p times q to the base of b, it is equivalent to logarithm of p to the base of b plus logarithm of q to the base of b. Therefore, the right hand side of our equation is just logarithm of a to the base of 2 plus logarithm of x squared to the base of 2. Now, using the first property, we can say that logarithm of x squared to the base of 2 is just 2 times logarithm of x to the base of 2. And also take note that this 8 is just 2 cubed. Now, one property of logarithm says that if we have logarithm of b raised to n to the base of b, this is equivalent to just n. Therefore, this logarithm of 2 raised to 3 to the base of 2 is just 3. Now at this point, to make it simple, let y be equivalent to logarithm of x to the base of 2. Therefore, the left-hand side of our equation is just y squared, and this 2 times logarithm of x to the base of 2 is just 2y. Now we have a quadratic equation in terms of y. So first thing to do is to equate this equation to 0. And then we have y squared minus 2y minus 3 equals 0. This is easy to factor because it can be factored as y plus 1 multiplied by y minus 3. And it is equivalent to 0. Now, since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that y plus 1 equals to 0 or y minus 3 equals 0. Now, let's solve each equation. On the first equation, we can say that y equals negative 1. Just subtract 1 on both sides. Now, on the second equation, just add 3 on both sides. This will give us the value of y with 3. Now, also take note that y is just logarithm of x to the base of 2. 
So we have logarithm of x to the base of 2 equals negative 1 and logarithm of x to the base of 2 equals 3. Now at this point, we are now ready to solve for the value of x. Now to solve for the value of x, let's convert this logarithmic equation into exponential equation. Now take note that if we have logarithm of a to the base of b equals n, it is the same thing as a equals b raised to n. Therefore, this logarithm of x to the base of 2 equals negative 1 is equivalent to x raised to 2 raised to negative 1. And this logarithm of x to the base of 2 equals 3 is the same thing as saying as x equals 2 raised to 3. Now, 2 raised to negative 1 is just 1 half and 2 cubed is just 8. Therefore, we found two real possible values for x. Therefore, if we have an equation x over 2 raised to logarithm of x to the base of 2 equals 8x, then we have two possible real values for x, namely x equals 1 half or x equals 8. And as always, we are done.